Hello everybody, this is Nessa Norway here again and today we are going to do a white nail design. This is just the beginning and yeah I started on my left hand <laughs> so I'm going to do this on my non-dominant hand or with my non-dominant hand. You can see I have just done an infill so I have a mismatch of uh, on my last design on here but I don't care to take it away since I'm just going to cover it anyway so this is what I'm going to do for now and then we will move on to the, the rest of the design on these nails so let's get started I, I am just going to use a, a gel gel polish or yeah a regular white gel polish I'm using a non soak off polish and the white colors tend to be very opaque so you have to use really thin coats to to get them to to cure in the lamp sorry I cannot do one thing and say another <laughs> So, as you can tell, I switched over to this mic. <laughs> so sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. But as I'm doing, what I'm doing here is just putting down thin coats of the white gel and wipe off any spilling around the cuticle area like I did because it was very awkward doing it with my non-dominant hand so wipe it off and cure it in my UV lamp for three minutes and this is the two coats and then I started to do a, I was going for a mermaid tail look on half of my nail as you can see on the other thumb but it looks more like a fishnet or something like that so <laughs> It is what it is. So yeah, you can see what I do, did. I just made some half bows with my thin little brush and cured it and washed it. And that's the result. And over to my middle finger, I am going to do, it's supposed to be a kind of a shell design. So, I'm quickly going over to a striping brush, striper brush, because I'm starting with a thicker line in the bottom and thinner line at the end. So, I'm going in a half circle, and they all, yeah, go together in the middle. And you can always and you have to flash cure it as you go away, so it does as you go along, so it doesn't run out. You can see here that I used my striping brush, no liner brush, sorry, and cure it for three minutes and wipe off the tacky layer. So that was my base nail, and over to the decoration. I have my Born Pretty plate number 17 and keep calm and travel on because I was going on location. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I used my Mundo de Unias gold and my Creative Shop scraper and my Creative Shop stamper. And after the third time I kind of lined it up <laughs> and on this nail I had just put three stones on because this hand is shorter nails on than my other hand and then a top coat top seal to seal in my design and here I'm just showing what I'm going to use before I am laying down a 
top coat and I'm curing it for flash curing it for 10 seconds and then the fiddly thing starting trying to line up lines <laughs> that was fiddly in in a kind of a yeah, some uh, some stripes that ends up in the middle you will see it in the end I'm not going to show you the whole thing that's too painful for you <laughs> Doing this with one hand is not easy. So here I am, almost finished. Just one left. And I think I flash cured it for a few seconds more. And then you take your brush and dab it in your mica or fine gold glitter, glitter or something. And dab it press, it, press it into the tacky layer. And then I flash cure it again. And yeah, you will see that I soon finished here and I will wipe it off with my brush. Yeah, let me see. So there, I'm wiping off the excess layer and taking off the stripes soon. And then another layer of top coat to seal in the gold glitter. And then you also clean up around the edges when, when once I'm done with curing. And here I take some glue and put on some, yeah, some bling. So it fits into the sun design or a flower design or whatever that is. <laughs> so there it is. And here I just put down a gold bead. That's all. And here I am taking down a top coat layer. I'm flash curing it. And taking off and starting to do some ombre with my gold, different gold. Uh, I have three, four types of different gold glitter here. And some tiny gold hexes at the top. Just dab it in the tacky layer. And flash cure it again. And then another top coat to seal that gold glitter in and then I took another top coat on all of my nails because I wanted it to last a long time and shiny and it stayed so well it worked really well they are still shiny after three weeks now and I'm dying to take them off I'm oh, sorry derailing <laughs> So wipe off the tacky layer after curing for 3 minutes in the UV lamp. And that was my forefinger. I was going to do my thumb, but I ran out of uh, yeah, movie time. So you will see it later on my other thumb here. I'm soon finished. So this was my right hand. You can see I have longer nails here, so I put down six beads instead of three on my keep calm and travel on. And that's my thumb with some kind of a sea theme with some shell and a little cluster there from Jen, I believe. Or oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that was my nails for this time. I had a fabulous week on the Canary Island and thank you all for watching bye bye for now bye bye